What does the party want? That's a big mystery. I, um, I, I do make a distinction between China as a nation and the party as a political organization. Uh, has the party, uh, the party, does it have a, an agenda? Probably yes. Uh, probably the agenda is not so much the development of China that uh, to build a powerful China, which is not the same. Um, I've written a book on India, and Mr. Ambassador, in my book on India, I explained that the Indian government is looking for the development of India. They have no choice because they are elected. <laughs> so development is on the agenda. Uh, China is different. Uh, the leaders are not elected. So development is less, um, less urgent, maybe, than to build a powerful China. Powerful, which means a uh, dominant China in its part, in her part of the world. Uh, they don't want to take over the world. This is ridiculous. But they would like to be in Asia, let's say, the equivalent of what the United States is in the Western world, you know, uh, to share power. Uh, economic power, cultural influence, and military power uh, to be a dominant force in Asia. The problem is that they have some powerful neighbors starting with Japan, so it's not that easy. Uh, so I think there is a kind of an agenda of the party uh, which is different from uh, the agenda for, for, for the nation because of the undemocratic nature of the regime. Uh, how should we behave? Do we have, as Westerners, any influence on this process? Um, we have to be very modest, and the, uh, the Western influence uh, is existing, but it is limited. Um, I think the uh, big mistake uh, would be to intrude too much in domestic affairs in China, because we would provoke some kind of a patriotic or nationalistic reaction among the Chinese people. So we have to respect uh, the spirit of independence uh, which is prevalent in, in China. This is one of the reasons why I'm totally uh, opposed to a boycott of the Olympic Games. This could be a big mistake. It would be resented by the Chinese people. Most of the Chinese people, including the human rights activists and the religious activists, uh, they are not advocating any boycott of the Olympic Games uh, because they are proud of the Chinese Renaissance. So if we went against the Olympic Games, uh, it would be heavily resented and it would play in the hand of the Communist Party. And the Communist Party would say, you see, the world doesn't like us uh, because they hate the Renaissance of China. They, are, they fear us and this will reunite the people around the Communist Party. So boycott would be a big mistake and it's not by accident that the Dalai Lama himself is not advocating the boycott of the Olympic Games.